still have time to cast your ballot in today's special election for the 80th Assembly District. This is a seat that was left open by Lorena Gonzalez after she left the job to take another job with the California Labor Federation. The district includes Chula Vista, National City and South San Diego. We're working for you to tell you not only where your voting center locations are, but also what your fellow voters are saying about the issues that matter to them. CBS 8's Kelly Hessel joins us live from Chula Vista Middle School with more on this race. Kelly. That's right, and there are three candidates that are battling it out for this seat. Now, we talked to voters at several different of these voting centers today, and here's what they told me is important to them right now. Social services, um, maybe um, homeless, people being homeless, and those are like my big issues. Definitely um, support for the South San Diego uh, education. High price of everything, gas, housing, those are probably the two biggest issues right now, but everything's just getting more expensive. I think the cost of living in San Diego is insane. I think the taxes are insane. Obviously, the price of gas is insane. I know a woman that has three jobs. Uh, she's trying to make ends meet and feed kids with three jobs. Uh, that's just insane. Now, there were others who didn't go on camera. Uh, the theme I kept hearing today from people was their concern about the high cost of living and high gas prices. So we're here at Chula Vista Middle School, and this is one of nine voting centers in this district. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you the other locations uh, on your screen to show you where you can vote today. Southwestern Community College, Castle Park Elementary, Camacho Recreation Center, as well as six other sites that are all going to be open until 8 p.m. tonight. That is when the polls close. And we also have a list up on our website at cbs8.com in case uh, you missed this list. So that's where you can vote. Uh, as for who you can vote for, the three candidates, two are former city council members. Uh, they're Democrats, David Alvarez and Georgette Gomez. Alvarez has said education is one of his top priorities, and he wants to add a new state university to the South Bay. Now, Gomez says one of her top priorities is addressing the gas crisis and finding ways to improve the transit system uh, so we're less dependent on foreign oil. The third candidate is Republican Lincoln Pickard, who has run for this seat four times before. Four. Uh, he says he also wants to address high gas prices by drilling for oil in California. So back out here live again, all these voting centers, uh, they close at 8 o'clock tonight. So you still have plenty of time uh, to come out and vote. Uh, and just uh, some information from the registrar of voters. They have said that there's about 250,000 registered voters in this district. However, voter turnout is expected to be fairly low, around 15 uh, to 20 percent. Carlo and Heather. Kelly, is there any chance that this could end up in a runoff? I mean, it absolutely could. One candidate, if they get more than 50% of the vote, then they automatically win the seat. However, if no one gets more than 50%, there will be a runoff election on June 7th. Kelly Hessel reporting on a special election in the South Bay. Thanks, Kelly.